all day, I could do this all night. Hey, what's up, my club locks, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we made it to Telnor Town, and uh, we are here to talk to him. I will no, Damien. You, you, young man. Um. Uh, of course you have. You better find one fast. I heard you. Okay. Well, my. Oh, God. Oh, this is, uh. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. And we're on our way to the professor's lab. Okay. Um, oops, sorry. Use my MC. Use my MC. Or use my YouTube profile pick. Sorry about that, uh, friend. Oh, hey, it has auto run. That's cool. Was that? Alt? I don't even know what I pressed for that. Oh, hi there. I can press with these Pokemon, they're freaks. No other would want them if we can't keep them any longer. All you want. All I want is for you to take them before you keep a bunch of Eevees as it is. As is. Surely these three won't be a bother. What do you care about them? I know what you've done. I know, it's true, it's merciless to have done some awful things, but there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Um, hello? I'm Damien, and this is Clay. We're here to get Pokemon so we can go up to the forest safely. Hmm. Sylvian. Sylvan. You don't take this Pokemon and release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Excuse me, please. So, you two are in need of Pokemon? Yes, ma'am. I see. That man was in here was just... Now, he was one of my colleagues in the university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. So, the leader of the cult of perfection. A, a cult leader? Those people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them. Let alone being be accepting gifts from them. Tell me, Damien. Hey, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? Yes. Delta Pokemon are based on the phenomenon in the Hoenn region far away. The Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Put simply, they're typed differently than normal Pokemon. For example, would an air electric type Dragonite or a water type Porygon. These Pokemon are the table now are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but if the, the Seem to be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They're scientific marvels. I would love to choose one to study. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as this Pokemon if to start you off on your journey. However, it seems there are three more options you can choose from. So I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I would normally give you. If you want Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. Oh, okay. Um, what Pokemon are you? No. Ghost and Dragon type Charmander. Yes. Um, well, uh, nah. Name it after a good friend. Whatever. Okay. 
play. I think you're right. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon just like you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe he chose the Fighting and Dark type Squirtle. Yeah, he chose the Fighting and Dark type Squirtle. And I have the Ghost and Dragon Charmander, who's for some reason. Oh. Okay, that's probably why. Ouch. Yeah, he beat me. Well, that's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, that... Uh, thanks for the Pokedex. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go! Hey, Charmander, my man! How's it going? Felnor Forest. Or Shade Forest. Poke Gear. Like that's. Oh. Okay, you're a prick. Who are you? A hiker with a Machop. It's too bad you can't hit my Dragon Dive. Dragon Ghost type Charmander with uh oh that's an interesting twist it shows the stats that's cool I do like the animation for Twister though that's really cool uh you haven't seen a Delta Charmander before man your favorites are Bug. Interesting. A Kakuna. It probably only knows Harden, so... I'm just gonna... Oh, I forgot Twister has the ability to flinch. That a 1.5 defense boost, but that doesn't uh, mean a dang thing. Not against a special type attack like Twister. And that's two trainers now. There's a third here. For your superior Pokemon. Tell me, oh, your youngster Nate. Okay, that's cool. You have a Patrat. Cool indeed. Oh, it has bite. Ouch. I was not expecting that. I should have probably just went for the first sure thing with uh, Twister. A part of. And with a 0.66 defense lowering and a 0.66 attack lower. Uh, not fun. 0.5 attack lower? Are you kidding me? You lowered me by two stages in attack? You, my good sir, are a prick. A very good prick. A very big prick. And, uh, what's this? A Pokeball. It's just just a, pl a plain old Pokeball. That's cool. I believe this is a potion. Super potion. Cool. Actually, I believe that I have some healing items. I'll use it on my uh, native Charmander. Oh, uh, my phone. Uh, maybe. Oh God. Uh, I'll let you know after I'm done this video, okay? He has a. 1.5 attack raise and a 1.5 special attack raise. Well, then come and plug the router in again. Oh my goodness. This one is a bit annoying.
his attack and special attack keep going up. There's not much I could really do about that. Confuse Ray. That's an interesting attack to have. I mean, I don't know whether I prefer... Oh god, poison actually has an effect in this game? Ooh. Ay -ay -ay. Tell me there is an exit somewhere around here. I don't want to die. Oh, hello, it's a Pikachu. Tell me he's going to survive on one HP. Okay. Now let's see here. Getting poisoned is not fun. There's quite a bit of Kanto Pokemon in this game. I've noticed like Nidoran, Pikachu were both in this route. Um, let's fight this juggler, shall we? He has an Apom. I am getting a phone call. Uh, one second. And I'm back. Sorry about the uh, little bit of a uh, interruption there, guys. Like, no, like, um, let's just get this battle over with, shall we? To. Alex is 19. So, I just defeated the Apom, and next up is a Starly. Okay, um, hopefully. 19. Um, just hopefully. We can take this Starly out with, oh, a crit, nice. Good job, Charbander. Alex, oh, oh screw <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm gonna go back to town oh, and uh, heal up. Hey, a male Pikachu. Come on, Keith, Keith would be okay with it. He'd have a prison. So let's get back to uh, town and heal up our Pokemon because. Oh come on! No, no, no! Seriously, come here and smack me. Yes. There <laughs> happens to be a Pokemon Center right here. Come on, come over from here. So we're healing up Charmander, and let's actually get to the come on it's the 19th birthday come on let's uh get back into this here forest and continue on with our quest to the apparent place that we're supposed to go i don't i i, I forgot where we were supposed to go honestly it is a caterpie i honestly don't want any of the pokemon in this first route I was debating on the Pikachu, but nah. Wait. Oh, I already beat her. How about you tell him yourself? Cause cool. I'm kind of... And I believe that this is the cave that we were supposed hey. to get to. Let's go in. Oh. I know the last episode was a little bit short, but... Okay, well, you know where let's we make live. this one a little bit longer, shall we? Um... Yeah, isn't that interesting, drinking and being in your episode of Soft Shop? So, I have defeated most trainers around here actually. Um, I'm at shop level 8, it's not a big deal for little, okay, well, little um, Nate here. No, you aren't. I'm in the middle of recording. Hello? Hey. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of a recording. Just message me when you get here. 
Okay. Five. So, sorry about that another interruption, uh, told my friend to keep the phone. Interruptions are good, you get more viewers, no. So, yeah. Oh, that, that, that was glitched. Okay, um, so, we're down here. Hey, a Q-Bone. I actually... Yeah, I actually want this on my team. So... Not sure what to name this Cubone. If, when I do catch it. It is 9.44. Um... Native friend, do you have any uh, suggestions for a name for this female Cubone? Lysol. Lysol. That's his answer for everything, guys. So, I'm not going to name it Lysol. Uh, female version of Lysol. Lighter version. <laughs> oh, God. So, I actually think I'm going to name it uh no i think i'm gonna name it maro or mero whatever you want to call it maro mero whatever okay i'm pretty sure that Charmander's a bit glitched here. So there is that. Um, fighting a Baltoy now. I don't want this thing on my team. Sorry to all you Baltoy fans, but no. Yeah, Charmander definitely glitches a lot. Let's actually get to where Damien is, and we'll end up end off the episode there. Um, this hiker has a Tyrogue. Interesting Pokemon. Fighting type with no fighting type moves, I believe at this point. I believe it has Tackle and Helping Hand, honestly. How'd I know he was gonna do that? That's why I continued with Twister. Rog and Rolla used Harden. Oh. That thing on top of its head does not... Yeah. Why'd I even go there? Oh, well. Let's just use another scratch on this Tyro. It seems to only have Helping Hand at this point in time, which is odd, but okay. Um, now, a Geodude. Now, let's see here. There's a Pokeball up here. I want that. There is a glitch over there. Or is that... I think... Yeah, that's just a misplaced pixel, I think. So, nothing too big. A Pokeball. I have Auto Run on because Auto Run is Bay. Damien. Um, I believe that's, uh, I can't remember which ones those are, I, I know which cults they are, like, I've read about this, like, okay. So, uh, they're planning to assassinate the auger. Um. Uh, 
Okay, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, we will save the auger from being assassinated. And if you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below if you want to see more Pokemon Insurgents. And I will see you guys all in the next episode.